Hey guys, and um, welcome back to another real life ish video. And if you guys see I'm talking weird, or this is the side of my face is weird, I uh, got something done in the dentist, so I'm actually totally numb in this side of my face right now. Okay, so back to the video. About mm, two, three days ago, giant lightning strike, and it blew my uh, lamp card or where my um, Ethernet goes. So, I've been using my phone, I've been using my phone to give me Wi-Fi using my personal hotspot. So, I'm actually just going to show you guys the Ethernet right now. So, right there. So, that's where it was. It was like this. It was like that. But not anymore, because... But, so, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing a land card. Uh, okay, guys, so now that we have it open, let's take a look at it. U-Green. So, boom, there it is. I'll show you guys a close-up of that. Sorry about that, that there is a glare. So it is actually really, really small. There will be a part two to this video, maybe, when I'm actually installing it. But, um, yeah, we're not going to do that until the weekend, and today's currently Wednesday. So yeah, guys, thank you guys all for watching this video. My name is Butter Monkey, and I'm signing off. Peace. I don't know where it is. Uh, so... Right, this should be like somewhere, so yeah, right there. Yeah, there, Intel GBE LAN status, San SATA Express. I hope that it fits. Yeah, I hope that that's what we're looking for. So we just finished vacuuming it. So do we put this back on? Yeah, you can put this back on. That isn't gonna I hope this automatically recognizes this card. It came with a driver, by the way. Oh, it did? Okay. Yeah, it came with a disc. Okay, guys, so we put it in the, um, this one right here. And it has a bridge for the power wire to go underneath, and it's the PCI Express one, and then in this slot right there. And then the, it's the 8 centimeter short bracket length. Um, so that one. And then the power supply wire can go under it. And then we screwed it in to the, um, one of my expansion spots. spots. And that, uh, yeah, it fits very nicely. So I hope that it works. Okay, so right there, the PCI. Oh, come on. Um, so wait, where is it? It's, it's like right under it. So you can see the PC and then the times 8 on that side. Where am I? Oh. There. See, the EX8 EX times 8. Okay, so look, there it is, there was the old one on the motherboard, right there, and then there's the, um, the new one, new one looks better to me than the old one, yeah, so we're just gonna leave that one, and yeah. Okay, that went on really easy. Because it's a good Corsair case. Is there a city? Okay, so it recognized it, but the driver is not installed. But we have the driver right here, so hopefully it works. Okay, guys, so we put it in, um, the driver in, and then we went to the device manager, and then we 
So after we put it in Device Manager, we right-clicked on the one that it was, and we clicked Update Driver, and we pointed it to the um, DVD drive, and then we, um, um, yeah, and then it found the driver that it needed, and then we plugged it in, and now I have internet again, so which is so nice, and I don't have to use my phone as a hotspot, which is really annoying. So now I have an open USB again, um, two actually. Now I used to only have one because my phone was always plugged into my computer. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching this video. My name is Spider Monkey, and I'm signing off. Peace.